I'm the Commissar, we're watching Forged Alliance Forever, and the map Deadlock is about to be host to some quick and dirty 2v2 action. So we have the cold team up here in the north, the hot team down here in the south. And each team has this little cup and then a pocket for their rearguard player. In the cup, in the forward position for cold team, we have Demon Streamer 666. He's Seraphim, he's 1269 rated and he's in blue, we'll call him Demon. Lots of reclaim in the middle, says Tor, we'll look at him and the map in a moment. Here is Tor Mozilla. He is 1158 rated. He's also Seraphim in baby blue. In the forward position for hot team, we have Finn Deed. We're going to call him Finn. He is 1414 rated. He is yet another Seraphim and he is in burgundy. And last but not least, in the pocket position for hot team, who accidentally walked a bit there, we have Alexander the Great, we'll call him Alex. He's 1069 rated, he's UEF, and he's in red. So let's have a look at the map. There is indeed a lot of reclaim in the middle, as Tor was saying, and we've already got NGs out on the way to pick it up for Demon. Looks like Finn isn't far behind, but Demon's definitely going to get there first. There, as well as the pocket, there's this little enclave here at the other corner for each team, and then contested corners with no fewer than four mixes each that are likely to have quite a lot of fighting going on over them. So this is a very interesting map. I've never seen it before, I've never played it before. It looks like one I would quite like to play. And this early greed from Demon eating up these little... Are these the UEF buildings? I think they're UEF buildings. Anyway, he's eating them and it's going to get him an early lead in reclaim. Whereas Finn has been greedier on building his actual mexes. He's got far more up than... Well... When I spoke, he had more up than Demon. Now Demon's taken the lead, so I'm guessing we are going to see more spam out pretty soon. Command is coming forward. Here comes Tor heading to take this position. Not really much to pick up here. He might do better to stop here and eat a bit of the reclaim. But... Alex is going off to the side, pick up a mex, pick up some of this reclaim here, and Finn going straight for the water. Who's doing better with the reclaim? At the moment, Cold Team doing way better with the reclaim thanks to that early expansion from Demon. But his NG might not survive long because we have Finn coming forward here to see what damage he could inflict. Radar was immediately denied and down goes the NG. However, the NG's already eaten most of the tasty reclaim here, so there's not much left for Finn to pick up and Tor is pointing out that Finn's com has come forward here. Looks like Demon is on his way to counter Finn, but Finn can easily walk back into the water even if he's sandwiched by both the comms. And Demon also has this NG cheekily sitting up here, though I think Alex is going to see to that. Finn back into the water, getting the reclaim. A couple of pot shots exchanged with Tor, but nobody's really being threatened as yet. Tor is sending a cheeky little tank and scout to deny the top right, but that is perhaps premature as neither member of Hot Team has actually tried to go in that direction. Down here we have a couple of NGs trying to take the bottom left from Alex, but this Selene from Demon, if it spots them, is going to be good on denying them. Again, the comms 
move around the middle, mainly just posturing, picking off each other's NGs, not really inflicting much damage on each other as yet. And that Selene has caught one of the NGs and it's heading down to deny this one rather than stop to pick up the second. Early gun from Tor looks quite nice and we'll also have to note that Tor has dropped this top corner with NGs. That's also nice. On the left, Alex has actually been knocked back down into the yellow by Demon who is pushing him, but on the right we have a beautiful run by sneaking into Tor's base from Finn. Alex is falling back, he's got Demon into the yellow, but I think Alex is going to be forced to retreat into the water, especially with these Zooey's rolling up. And over here, Tor is losing mechs as fast to these little group of tanks. He's going to lose, he's lost one, he's going to lo lose at least one more, and while hiding in the water, Alex has started with the gun upgrade. This mix goes down, will Tor lose any more? In the middle, we've got Alex and Tor both going for gun. Up here at the top, there is a bummer out from Tor to counter Finn's raid, but these are Sarah tanks, much tougher than, say, Eon tanks, and as you can see, it's gonna take two hits to kill each of these boys. Lots of eco here that they could hit before the bummer, the one bummer, cleans them up. These are NGs. Oh, that's nice, splitting off these fellas to clean up this NG before he can finish off this factory. And that's. That mix was lost earlier, but it's been rebuilt. He's gonna lose at least two more, maybe three more to that raid. Good play from Finn. Now on this side, it looks like Finn is trying the same trick again, but we've got a point defence here up from Tor, and since there's no actual arty in here, which I would definitely have mixed in, especially as Seraphim, this is easily going to be seen off by the point defence. Finn's now going for gun in the middle, but Alex and Tor have finished it, and I think Tor might force a cancel, and Alex has started nano repair, so he can't come in to help out. Tor shooting on Finn there, and Finn is indeed forced to cancel, he's going to retreat to the water. He'll probably be safe in the water, but even so, he wasted a bit of resource there on trying to get an upgrade. Oh, but this could be interesting. Zooey's do have area of effect, and Finn is actually his head sticking out of the water there. So Finn, despite standing with his feet in the water, is not safe. He's taking Zooey hits, he's going to have to move again, and indeed he does. But those Zooey's, I don't think they're going to last very long, because that's a decent amount of spam, both arty and basic tanks, from Finn and from Alex and Demon starts on the gun as well. Both hot players bringing a decent amount of spam. Now Alex pops out with gun and nano but he's still into the yellow from earlier despite the nano giving him some a bit extra. And with Tor's gun he does force Demon to cancel though but Tor and Demon's comm still being in the area they're gonna push him back and Finn's coming out to help but Finn is in the yellow and completely naked. Alex will definitely have to stay in the water for now. Finn is asking Alex for help in getting gun, and that's a good choice. He starts, he's, his head's still out of the water, but um, he's not being attacked at the moment, so that's probably going to be okay. Meanwhile, Finn's bringing some arty out here to hit Tor, having claimed this corner expansion. And there is a T1 point defense here, but that's going to be no threat to arty. Quick check on Eco meanwhile, despite Cold Team having both corners, Hot Team are almost catching up with them. And I think it was slightly different before Tor was able to reclaim that, so despite that, good balance. And what do I see? Well, on the left. Alex is pushing Demon's expansion here, but Demon has a T2 support factory here and there's an Ilshi to defend. All of this is T1. I don't think that's going to be enough. On the right, T 
Tor is sending a beautiful little raid, revenge for what Finn did to him, coming around and getting into Alex's back passage. In the middle we have some spam posturing a bit, Hot Team has more spam but Cold Team has a bit of point defence, I don't think we're going to see much there. In the top, in what we can see here on the mini-map, Finn is massing some artillery, he isn't pushing in with it yet though, I think he could push in and take that. This one Ilshi is standing still and that's a mistake, it's going to die if it stands still because that's a lot of Lobos. If, he, if it's micro, Demon could just defend with that one Ilshi and kill all the Lobos. But it's down, it's hit by Lobo fire. Another mechs lost here by Alex as Tor's raid comes around the back and these guys continue to posture and another Ilshi's out for Demon that's going to defend perfectly well. But we've got a massive com fight going down in the middle. Tor with gun, Demon with gun, Finn with gun, and Alex with gun and Nano. But Finn is being double teamed by his cold opponents, and Cold have a few Zooies in helping out. And Finn is going to be forced back to the water. He's down into the red. Is he going to survive? The Zooies are also shooting at him. 1600 hit points. But he looks like he's okay. Alex has Nano and it looks like Demon has also been forced into the red and Demon backs away. Wow, that was close and now these couple of Oshis are easily going to be cleaned up by Alex. Down here in the bottom corner though, remember that raid from Tor? Well, it's actually got into Alex's main base and this is just T2 flak, it's not going to have any answer to these T1 tanks. Down here, Alex has pushed harder into the corner, but Demon's getting out more and more Ilshis. Will Demon have enough to clean it up? You know what? I think he will, especially as none of these are tanks, and as long as the Ilshis keep moving, the Arty will just die in a hurry. However, these guys have stopped. They need to move. They need to take these things out. We have Ilshis being dropped up the top by Finn, which is very nice. The comms are again fighting in the middle, Alex and Tor engaging. There's a T2 point defence here forcing Finn backwards trying to come out of the water and push. He's still in the red. Alex does have to be careful, Finn even more careful. How are those Ilshis doing? Well they land up here, there's a point defence but two Ilshis should be enough to take care of that. And it looks like we've also got an Ilshi drop, a much bigger Ilshi drop, thanks to the power of Seraphim transports coming in for Demon. Where's it going to go? And this is a huge push. We'll check on it in a moment. Only one Ilshi survives here, but it's standing still. Finn needs to get it moving. Demon's still holding on to the bottom corner. Where's his drop going? Is it coming to support? Oh, that might be a mistake. It's coming in down here, and there's still four flak tanks, T2 flak tanks available here for Alex. I think it's going to be a bit of a problem for him, and the flak tanks open up on it. Boom, it's down. Finally, Finn has pushed the top right corner, and the D Tor is going to lose his expansion. He's got a big army messing here, but there's spam including a bit of T2 on each side coming to face off there. So that was a very exciting um, passage of play. And Alex is going in person with his gun and nano to clear out the bottom left. Against just one or two Ilshis, that comm should be enough, but he'll have to watch out for getting trapped. Demon has now also got Nano, and that might be a nasty surprise for Finn. Does Finn know he's coming? He knows something's coming, but he doesn't know that's a com. He probably thinks it's just a Zooey. And if Finn, who's still very badly damaged with just 3,400 hit points, gets ambushed by Demon, he could be in a lot of pain. Finn's still not pushing here, he's completely cleaned out this expansion, he's sending units to capture it, but out of the water comes Demon, immediately Finn's into the red, he tries to back away, he brings his units to surround the comm, he runs to the water, is he going to make it, I don't know if he is, he pulls his units away thinking he's going to die and he is going to die, boom, down goes Finn, Demon is into the red, with, but with 3300 hit points remaining thanks to his nano and with his nano to repair 
he's probably going to be fine. Alex is going to inherit. Finn has been pushing here and Alex will have to get that moving and indeed he does right away. Beautiful awareness from Alex. This is a big force and it's probably going to do some damage. A couple of bombers and there's no anti-air in here to stop it. That is something that Alex is going to need to worry about but that's a lot of Ilshis for one bomber to work through. And this bird capacity, there's one point defence. Nope, there's no point defences. Down it goes. Beautiful. Here on the left, Alex is pushing in, in person, to take out this base. Almost entirely unsupported, but he has got gun and nano. Here on the right, that raid we saw is charging in. Four Ilshis have survived, and there's another big wave of T1 spam coming up behind it. This could cause some really brutal damage to poor old Tor. Now there are still Ilshis churning off the blocks here for Demon and Zooey's from the other factories by the looks of things. So that could threaten Alex but with his com, with his gun, with his nano I don't think it's going to be enough of a threat. Another Ilshi comes in but he'll just be able to overcharge that. Up here look at the devastation being wreaked upon Tor. This Mex has just about hit T2, and it does, but how long is it going to last? These, if these units just move around a little bit, they can take out Tor's core Mexes, and that is going to be pretty brutal. Meanwhile, Alex brings in support. I don't think there's any way that this corner base from Demon survives, and he also moves his raid across and he is going to brutalize the eco of poor old Tor. Mex is going down. I don't think anything in Tor's starting base is going to survive but here we can see Tor with gun, with gun and with nano coming in and there's nowhere for Alex to escape. Finn says you're going to be trapped and he's pretty much right. However, look at the eco. Alex now has more than double the eco of Cold Team combined thanks to having smacked out both corner bases and Tor's starting base. Can he bring in these boys to provide some support? What's he going to do with his comm? And look at this. Demon, also with gun and nano, is coming in as well. Alex is not going to be in a very nice position. Spam swarms in. Alex is going to retreat to the water. Over on this side though, we have a mass of pillars swarming up for Alex. Will he bring them in to support his comm or will he push into Demon's base? Alex is in the water. He thinks he's safe as the two comms approach him. And Alex can afford to produce so much more. Looks up, he's going straight into Demon's base with this horde of pillars. He thinks his comm will be okay or on his own against two gun nanocoms. I think that's unwise. I think Alex needs to find a way out, see if he can somehow outrun them. A T2 transport would do the trick. But those pillars are pushing into Demon's base and they are going to get some damage done. Alex just hides in the water. But Finn is building... Finn Tor is building a torpedo. Ha! A torpedo. Um, and he's joined by Demon, and what can Alex do about that? T2 transport suggests Finn, and I think that's the only way out, because this torpedo, I mean, he could just reclaim it. He can probably reclaim it faster than it hurts him. Meanwhile, on this side, those units he had up top are coming around and smashing into Demon's base. So, Demon is... But it, Alex is going to try and pop out of the water. But there are Ilshis from Demon. Uh, Demon and Tor are both here and the comms open fire. Demon's base is wrecked. Look at the eco. The, uh, Alex is like four times the eco. But is that going to matter? I don't think it is. If Alex made a run for the water up here, he might. He might make it. But it doesn't look like he's going in that direction. He's just trying to make it out. And sure, he's got pillars reinforcing. But I don't think they'll be reinforcing fast enough. And he might take out one of the comms. But with these Ilshis in support, I think Alex is going to die. Will he take Tor with him? He certainly won't take Demon with him, though. He's into the red. 
He is shedding health. He's not going to make it. Boom. Down goes Alex and Code Team win the game. Action all over the map. Expansions changing hands. That was brutal. But at the end, turns out that if you get your com trapped, you're in a bit of a pickle. Now, Finn suggested that Alex could have used a T2 transport to get out, but I don't know if Code Team had enough air to stop it. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. While you're down there, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. I'm the Commissar. I will see you next time.